Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Heidi. So everybody deserves a little me time. And while my kids are still sleeping and my husband is out golfing, I'm gonna walk you guys through the process by using Madison Reed hair dye. I'm not a hairstylist. I just like to do things myself when I can. It helps save money. Before I get into the contents of what's in the box, I wanna ask you, have you ever been unsure what color you want to dye your hair? If so, go check out this website. It's on Madison Reed. It has a virtual hair color makeover tool. It's really neat. My girl and I had a lot of fun trying on different colors. She loved looking like Princess Ariel. You can adjust the results to see halfway or all the way of what you would look like. This kit has everything that you need to dye your hair. I purchased this kit for $26.50 at Ulta. You can also buy it on their website. This kit I had from the last time I highlighted my hair. This is totally optional. Um, it comes with the clips to separate your hair and the brush. But you can do it easily without this. The first thing you'll need to do is part your hair in four different sections. Now that your hair is in four different sections, you want to use the barrier cream. This is going to help prevent stainings on your skin. The barrier cream felt like a lotion and it had a nice scent to it. Now you'll take your radiant cream and your activator cream and add those together. It was nice they had a little puncture thing where you didn't need any scissors. You just squeezed it right into the bottle. I put my hair color in the cup, but you can easily squeeze it out of the bottle and apply it to your hair the same way using your hands instead of using the brush. The first part is to work through your roots. After that, I just work through each section. You now want to use a wide tooth comb and brush through your hair. This is to make sure you get all the hair color throughout your hair. Once that's complete, you'll use the cap that's provided. Now you'll want to take your cleansing wipe and wipe any extra hair dye that got on your skin. As you can tell, I have quite a bit of hair dye on me. It came off easily and to be honest, it smelled like um, an alcohol wipe. Then you'll wanna set your timer for 35 minutes. Go enjoy some more me time. For me, I'll have some coffee. What's your favorite me time activity? Now I'm gonna take those second pair of gloves and go wash my hair and be back with the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this hair tutorial video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed, Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching. Bye.